my neighbor next door, Joe. Let me tell you about my neighbor, Mr. Blackwell. Dude lives right next door, and on the outside, he looks like any regular guy. You know, button-up shirts, a bit nerdy with his glasses, typical neighbor vibes. But let me tell ya, there's some seriously spooky stuff going on behind those closed doors. Now, our neighborhood is pretty chill, or at least it used to be. People say hi, kids play in the streets, and we all live our lives in peace. But lately, things have been off, and it all traces back to Mr. Blackwell. See, Mr. Blackwell isn't just into gardening or collecting stamps. Nah, he's got this whole secret life brewing, and I ain't talking about a cool secret handshake club. Rumor has it he's into some dark magic, you know, the kind they don't teach you at Hogwarts. At first, I didn't pay much mind to the rumors. I mean, who believes in that stuff, right? But things started getting weird. People in our neighborhood started losing jobs left and right. Like, one day, Mrs. Johnson got laid off, and the next week, Mr. Rodriguez found himself jobless too. Coincidence? I think not. Then, there were the accidents. Little things at first, someone tripping on the sidewalk, a bike collision. But soon, it escalated. Car crashes, falls down the stairs, it was like our neighborhood was cursed. And guess who was always nearby, smirking behind his glasses? Mr. Blackwell. The dude kept his magic game on the down low. No one suspected him. I mean, who would think the nerdy guy next door could be pulling off some supernatural craziness? Not me, that's for sure. One day, I had a problem. Needed some advice, so I went to Mr. Blackwell. Big mistake. He looked at me with those piercing eyes and grinned like he knew something I didn't. Gave me some weird solution that sounded more like a spell than actual advice. Now, here's the thing. I'm not one to back down, and I told Mr. Blackwell exactly what I thought of his advice. We got into this heated argument, shouting across the picket fence like a scene from a bad sitcom. Words were flying, and neighbors were peeking through their curtains, probably thinking we'd lost it. Little did I know, I was about to step into a world of trouble. That night, strange things started happening. Lights flickered in my house, weird sounds echoed in the silence, and I swear I heard whispers that made my skin crawl. It was like the air had thickened with some creepy energy. Days went by, and life started falling apart. My job? Gone. Money? Vanished like it was never there. It was like a domino effect of bad luck, all hitting me like a wrecking ball. I couldn't connect the dots at first, but then it hit me Mr. Blackwell had cursed me. I tried asking other neighbors if they'd experienced anything strange after arguing with Mr. Blackwell, but no one seemed to connect the dots. It was like I was the only one spiraling down this dark tunnel of bad vibes. Desperation kicked in, and I decided to confront Mr. Blackwell. I stormed over to his house, rage bubbling inside me. The door creaked open, and there he was, standing in the dimly lit hallway with that creepy smile of his. What did you do? I yelled, my voice trembling with anger. Mr. Blackwell chuckled, a sound that sent shivers down my spine. Just a little something to teach you a lesson. Don't mess with things you don't understand. I felt my stomach churn. Lesson learned, but at what cost? The neighborhood that once felt like a safe haven now seemed like a playground for dark forces. And all of it, the job losses, the accidents, and now my own curse, it was all tied to Mr. Blackwell and his twisted magic. Days turned into nights, 
and I tried everything to break the curse. Salt, sage, even watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to deal with supernatural stuff. Nothing worked. It was like I was trapped in a nightmare, with no waking up in sight. Then came the night when everything changed. A storm was brewing outside, rain slamming against the windows. I sat alone in my dark living room, surrounded by the remnants of my once happy life. That's when I heard it, a haunting whisper, just like the ones I'd heard before. Listen learn, but at what cost? The voice echoed in my ears, and suddenly, the room felt freezing cold. I looked around, heart pounding, and there, in the shadows, I saw a figure. Mr. Blackwell, his eyes glowing in the darkness. You thought you could challenge the unknown. He sneered, his voice a mixture of amusement and malice. I tried to speak, but I just couldn't. Mr. Blackwell raised his hand, and a dark energy swirled around him. The room felt charged, like the air before a thunderstorm. You questioned the mysteries of the universe. Now, you'll face the consequences. He continued, his grin widening. I felt a force pulling at me, as if an invisible hand was dragging me into the abyss. The room twisted and turned, reality warping around me. And then, darkness. When I woke up, the storm had passed. The room was eerily silent, and a sense of dread hung in the air. I stumbled to my feet, drenched in sweat, and surveyed my surroundings. Nothing seemed out of place, but the heavy feeling of malevolence lingered. As days went by, I realized the curse hadn't lifted. So here I am, trapped in a horror story of my own making, with no escape in sight. And as the whispers continue to echo in the darkness, I can't help but wonder if anyone will ever uncover the disturbing truth about Mr. Blackwell and the eerie secrets that lurk behind the seemingly ordinary facade of our neighborhood. If you found any enjoyment in the video, I implore you to click that like button and subscribe if you dare.